quantum computing. Can someone explain it to me in simple terms, Jackson? You're a physicist. I am a physicist. I have a physics degree. The way that information is stored, similarly to how in computing, they use bits at the smallest mm -hmm. level to, to sort of create information. In quantum com computing, they're called qubits or quantum bits. I know that one advantage of qubits is that because, because of quantum theory that I'm not going to discuss, get into, uh, you can do more operations than you can with regular bits, like superposition. So they're a bit more flexible than regular bits. You can basically create a quantum state that can only be decrypted by knowing how to something, something quantum, quantum. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was I don't great remember exactly, but I know it's I know it's good for encryption. I asked ChatGPT basically the same question that I asked you to just you know, but explain it to me in simple terms, right? Uh, traditional computers use zeros and ones. Quantum computers use zeros, ones, and then, like you said, superposition allows them to be in a quantum state where they can use both a zero and a one at the same time, which allows them to process information a lot faster than a traditional computer. 